we're going to start our baby rabbit with a big circle in the center of the page. The reason we're using these simple shapes is so that we can determine the proportions of all the body parts. Because if we start going in with loads of detail, we'll just have to rub it out if it's the wrong size. So remember, your circle does not have to be perfect in any shape or form. Mine certainly isn't, so there we go. Now, this is the body. Now we're going to be doing the head. This is going to be an oval shape. So it's just slightly, ever so slightly overlapping the circle. We're then going to add in the eye, which is just here. Just add in a little circle shape, just so that we know where we're going to put it. Now for the ear. Now the ear is going to overlap slightly, so just follow what I'm doing here. I'm going to go down round and just before it hits this circle shape we're going to head back in. Now for the other ear. Sorry if you can hear the seagulls. I live by the sea so I just can't get rid of them. <laughs> now for the little forearm. This is coming down here. I'm gonna curve round and it's gonna come up because this little baby rabbit's eating. Now for the foot. Comes round like this and inwards. Okay, so I'm swapping to pen, but please do carry on in pencil. This is just so that you can see it better on camera. We're going to start off with the eye. So, nice big eye here. Now like a big almond shape, just like so. I'm going to be drawing some of the reflections, so that it looks like the light's reflecting off it. And then I'm going to colour the rest in black. Some little lines around the eye. Next I'm going to be doing the ear. So just coming around here. So young rabbits actually called a kit or a kitten sometimes I've seen it written. So I'm just using these little flicky lines because this rabbit is super furry and we just need to show that there's fur in this bit. Here we're going to be doing these long lines, just following the shape of this oval that we drew before, but the lines are kind of standing upright until they get to around here. And they get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Until they get to the teeny weeny little nose. And the mouth. And then they get longer again. Just like that. Now for the other one, the other ear that is, just poking around there. So we're going to be doing the back, just follow this circle shape that we did before. I'm just using these long lines now. So baby rabbits are born blind and without fur and they're totally dependent on their mother. So it's only at two weeks that they actually start to eat vegetation. And another fun fact is that um, bye bye Bugs Bunny because rabbit, uh, carrots aren't actually that good for your rabbits. They've got way too much sugar in them and they also don't have enough fiber. So that image of Bugs Bunny, mm -mm. Okay, so I'm coming around now making these lines a little bit longer and then they're going to follow inwards like that. We're then going to be doing this one, so just following the lines that we did before but we're adding this long kind of long strokes like this because it's really really super furry. Coming upwards and then the little paws like this and should we draw it eating a flower? Like that. I'm going to be adding in the foot, the thumper foot. Just like that. A little bit of the belly. Okay, so if you haven't gone over it in pen, go over it in pen and then erase all the pencil lines. Okay, so here's our little bunny. We're going to be adding some whiskers. And 
just a little bit more fur, just to make it look a little bit darker here. In the areas of shadow, I'm just using these little lines. Also in the ear, to show that there's shadow there. And on the bottom of this ear, gives it a sense of depth. And then underneath the little paw, just drawing longer lines. There's a little space here and on the tummy here. Also underneath here, and part the way across the back. These lines are much longer. They're also curved, as you can see. I'm just going to draw a couple more, a couple more of these clusters of, of curved lines. Show the direction of the fur. See how it looks a lot more furry now? And a few more little bits of fur here. going to draw the ground that it's sitting on because it looks like it's floating in the air. So just using these horizontal lines. And there we have our cute little baby rabbit. I really hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, I have a whole playlist of baby animals, so check it out now. Bye!